So you might want to take this one serious because this actually happened recently. Let's see exactly what's going on. Someone did mention um medications coming in at even with tomatoes. This is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. Hey family, welcome back, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we would be discussing something kind of serious because this keep happening. So let's jump into today's video. This is Shauna and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. You guys check in, let us know where you're watching from and how you are doing. Of course, I'm checking in from Northern New Jersey. And being that these items do have that long shelf life, um, cinnamon can be stored away for a very long time. Um, just go back, check this stockpile, make sure you don't have it. If it does have them cold, so that date, just toss it out at this point because food is definitely being contaminated, okay? And we know that for a fact. But when it comes to simple things like even cinnamon, y'all, y'all want to mess with the cinnamon? But who is responsible at the end of the day? Happy Grandma for Ruth P. I did see your comment. At the end of the day, who's responsible for all of these recalls to be prolonged and keep happening? Who's really responsible for it? Somebody needs to have some type of accountability here with these recalls. So you heard it here. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put this link in a comment down below, in a pinned comment down below. And I'm also going to put it in the description box so you guys can definitely go back to refer to this here um because yeah this is just hold on y'all oh it's actually more but no this this is just really getting out of hand family so definitely let's go ahead and see what else is on this list all right family so first here's a updated recall for the Kelowna brothers cinnamon so this cinnamon is being recalled and afterwards i'm going to read off the prior recall that they had with the cinnamon as well so this recall firm is Kelowna brothers of north bergen new jersey okay the cinnamon was distributed nationwide through retail stores and mail order the cinnamon is packaged in a clear plastic jar labeled with either the markham cinnamon ground 1.5 ounce or the supreme tradition ground cinnamon 2.25 ounces and they're saying that there's no pictures of the recall um product provided at all so the supreme tradition cinnamon can be found like in family dollar it can also be found in dollar tree stay away from it the other packages that's typically like um um where where is that in the supermarket it's like off to the side depending on where you shop i know walmart sells some clear packages of the cinnamon sticks and cinnamon powder but i forgot the brand i don't know if it's this brand or not but if you see it, it's the Kaluna brothers and you definitely want to watch out for the markham and the supreme tradition ground cinnamon y'all so let's see the newly recall products include 1.5 ounce of the markham ground cinnamon with the best buy date of 12 5 25 y'all mm -hmm. and that's the 1.5 ounce jars of markham ground cinnamon 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 <laughs> cinnamon with best buy date 12 5 25 y'all and a 2.25 ounce jars of supreme tradition ground cinnamon with date 10 6 25 and they have the um upc code of 10a11 fda is recommending that you go ahead and toss all of that cinnamon now at this point or take it back to the store for a full refund so if you do have any of this cinnamon in your home toss it out because it, it's really it's not worth it it is not worth it so toss that thing out all right family so another recall thank you mr miguel for sending this on over um another recall yes yeah, so here's an item that everyone possibly have in their pantry and possibly have stockpiled by now so cinnamon yes you heard me cinnamon if you just use cinnamon to make that french toast or use it as a spice in your drink or whatever you use cinnamon for 
it might be on recall. So make sure you guys look out for this one. So the FDA alert concerning certain cinnamon products due to presence of elevated lead levels. Um, we know if there's a high amount of lead in your body, you can get sick and it also can cause issues with your brain. So definitely you don't want any of these, you know, any of this in your body. A lot of items are actually being recalled over lead and salmonella. So I'm just saying, just watch out for these recalls, y'all. All right, so it says all consumers, all retailers. The problem is the FDA has determined that the ground cinnamon products listed in the table below, which I'm going to show you all, um, contain elevated levels of lead and that prolonged exposure of these products may be unsafe. So let's go ahead and look at this list here. Let's flip the camera around. And if you have it at this point, just toss it out. So we're pulling it up right here on the screen. Um, I have my laptop in front of me, y'all. So we have the distributor right here. The brands, lot codes, everything that you need is on screen. A lot of people focus really just on this picture versus anything else. So it's that La Fiesta, Canela, Mol Molita, which is just ground um, cinnamon there. Lot number 25033. And here's the brand and everything. Yep, got that lead, 2.73 there. And then we have the Morven Foods LLC coming in from Save-A-Lot. Save-A-Lot, I know some of y'all shop at Save-A-Lot, Save-A-Lot. And here's the brand here, the Markham's Ground Cinnamon there. Lead levels running from 3.20 to 2.90 there. Best Buy, 10-16-2025 in 4-6-2025 in Missouri. No colds on this one. And this is the SF Supermarket. What's SF? Is that super fresh or? I don't know. But it's the Santa Fe Springs, California here. No colds are available, actually. Lead levels at 2.99 there. And here is actually what that picture looks like. So if you have it, toss it out. Um, And then a Roger Foods LLC and Skookie, Illinois. Y'all don't play with them names. And it's Patel Brothers Swad. They did have a recall announcement there. Best before July 2026. There's the lot numbers there. Uh, lead levels at 2.12 there. Cinnamon powder has a picture. That thing costs $2.49. And then we have the Green Brer International Inc. in Chesapeake. Uh, Virginia there sold at Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. Y'all know we be at Dollar Tree, and a lot of people still shop at Family Dollar as well and be picking up their spices because at Family Dollar, a lot of their supreme to tradition spices are still $1. So if you picked up cinnamon recently, toss it out. They do have their recall announcement there as well. Best Buy 92925, 4172925, 121925, 4121225. 824 for 25, 4125, 4125, and 92225 for Missouri. And here's all of the lot numbers there. And here's all of those uh, lead numbers. And here's what it looked like. So Supreme Tradition. I have a few Supreme Tradition um, spices in my cabinet myself. And then we have Florida coming through. Store is La Joya Moreland's. Um, and Baltimore MD, y'all. So definitely Maryland. They have their lot numbers here. Both of them lead levels here. And here's exactly what it looks like. Let me zoom in for you guys. So that's what that package in there looked like. So if you have it, toss it out. I typically find these kind of packages like in a super fresh or extra supermarket. Um, one of those type of supermarkets versus like Walmart. Do well, I think Walmart sells something like these too. But it's really in like one of those other kind of supermarkets. So the FDA is advising consumers to stop using and dispose of these products. All right, fam, I want to thank you all for tuning in in today's video. Come in to hang with me over here. This recall is serious. Recalls are expanding. So I I hope you guys are checking in on those recalls, y'all. They are really expanding. It's getting out of hand.
truly it is but thank you all for tuning in if you are new here you did enjoy today's video all you have to do is subscribe to join the family and if you've been here before thank you so much for returning and that is pretty much it if you guys you know enjoy some more videos will pop up youtube will recommend we'll put some here on the screen and click on it check it out we'll see you next time this is shauna and i'm officially checking out from moments with us make sure you all stay prepped stay blessed stay safe and most of all remain beautiful queens and kings peace out